Uploading any Premier League video match on your YouTube channel will easily result to a copyright strike, which will lead to demonetization of your channel videos, and three of those strikes will lead to the termination of your channel. Now, having said that, you can still find many channels on YouTube uploading football highlight videos which are monetized, which means their videos hardly get any copyright claims. So, what are these other YouTube creators doing to avoid copyright claims on their football highlight videos? In this video, I'll be showing you how to get past any copyright claims when making football highlight videos for your YouTube channel. Now, without wasting much of your time, here is what we'll be going through in this video. For a start, I'm going to show you where you can download football matches that you can use when editing your highlight videos. Then, we'll go through the amount of content you're allowed to use from the downloaded videos. And finally, how to add value and transform the video to an extent that it turns the video clips into your own creation when editing them. But before we get into all that, if this is your first time to this channel and you're interested in tips and tricks on how to grow and monetize your videos here on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Now, we all know that recorded football video matches online are copyrighted content, but that does not prevent news TV stations or even some local sport TV stations from copying and showing parts of the recorded football matches. It's similar to someone writing a blog post and quoting a piece from a magazine they read. Now, fair use gives fans the right to copy portions of other people's content and display the copies in the form of videos or blog posts. Fair use also limits the rights of broadcasters or sport leagues to use copyright claims to take down video clips that fall under fair use. So that leaves YouTube creators with only one problem, how to edit their football highlight videos so that it falls under the fair use guidelines. So you first have to fully understand the fair use guidelines and how to apply them in your videos when editing them if you want to start uploading football highlight videos that can be monetized on YouTube. It's only by following the fair use guidelines that you'll be able to transform the video matches that you've downloaded to create your own unique video. So how do you go about transforming a video match that you have downloaded into a YouTube football highlight video without any copyright issues? To do that, you first need to know where to get football matches to download for your highlight videos. Now, there are a few websites online that upload recent football matches and they allow anyone to download and use the video clips. The Golatan Man HD football website is one of such websites. Here, you can go through all this long list of football match options and choose whichever one you want to use to create your videos. So for example, I can go with the European League option here. And here below, you see the different options of the entire match. You have the option of downloading the pre-match, the first and the second half, extra time and penalties, and even post-match video clips, if any. In each case, you have two different options to download the videos to your computer. Now, to be able to download any of these videos, you need to have one of these premium memberships. There are also some low but good quality video websites where you can download football matches without paying for any membership. Wiseloaded.com is an example of such website. Now, when you click on the football highlight tab here, you see where you can download videos for free. OnPoint is another website that you can use to download football matches for free. You want to take note here to avoid using other videos that people have already uploaded on YouTube. That means avoid using other YouTubers' football highlight videos even if you are getting the videos from the YouTube Creative Commons. I'll be dropping the links of all the websites I've mentioned in this video below in the description box. You can also do a simple Google search to get even more sites like this where you can download football matches for free. The importance here all lies on how you transform the downloaded videos to a unique video that adds value to the platform. 
again you have to edit the video so that they fall under the fair use guidelines that way whenever your video is accidentally flagged for copyright you can always confidently request for a human reviewer to review the video youtube now knows that this type of things do happen which is why they have a system for creators to counter any copyright claims and requesting for a human reviewer is one of those options and most often than not the human reviewer will clearly see how you have transformed the video and as such will remove any copyright claims from the video now make sure to hit the like button and keep watching if you would like to learn how to transform your downloaded videos to a football highlight video that falls under youtube fair use guidelines so when you already have your videos downloaded and ready to be transformed or edited go to your favorite video editing software personally i use sony vegas as my video editing software now if you're a football fan you know that the european cup football matches are currently being played and here are a couple of video clips of different matches portugal has played so i can use these downloaded video matches to create a highlight video say on the top five moves made by ronaldo who is the top star in the portuguese team or the top three missed goals of the portuguese team you get the point now it's important to understand here that highlight video clips are more likely protected as fair use if you are posting them to comment on or even criticize on an action in the downloaded videos so you can start the process of transforming your videos by commenting or criticizing in your video clips as a voiceover or captions posted next to the video clip so you can comment or criticize on things like bad tackling during the match bad referee calls on other players or management conduct all these are ways you can use to start transforming your videos to make them unique you want to also make sure that you are cutting the downloaded videos to a maximum of seven seconds long in every short clip that will help the video stay safe within the fair use guidelines so the longer the portion of the copyrighted content you cut the less likely it's going to fall under the fair use guidelines so each short clip copy you cut from the entire video match should be able to add to what the video title is all about now what type of short video clips you should be looking for to cut from the entire downloaded videos since fair use is more likely found in video clips that show the facts of the game the play of itself and fan reaction that's what you should be looking for when cutting and putting your videos together you can also transform your videos by changing the sequences so you want to alternately combine clips from different matches so you don't want to use two video clips from the same league take for example you don't want to use two champions league clips instead you want to use a champions league video clip with a bundesliga video clip for example now scaling your videos is another way of transforming your videos you can zoom into or add slow motions in the seven seconds video clips in a way that viewers will see a move that they wouldn't have otherwise seen if you hadn't slowed things down now after editing and transforming your videos you want to render it and upload it on youtube with the new features youtube has recently added for creators you can now know before posting your videos to the public if your videos will be monetized so when uploading your highlight videos on your channel it's wise to first set it on schedule for a while before posting it to the public when you set your videos on schedule if the video has any copyright claims, YouTube will show you where the copyright claim occurred in the video. That way, if possible, you can use the video editor to edit it or simply delete the video and go back to your video editing software and cut and adjust wherever the problem is. So now you know how to upload football highlight videos on YouTube without receiving any copyright claims. Hope this video was helpful. If so, hit the like button below, share on your preferred social site and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another helpful video.